you'll notice that the touchscreen is separated into four distinct areas. There's a bar across the top that's always stationary. And to start with, there's a status bar on the very, very top here. You have the temperature, you have a shortcut to the charging menu, home link, driver controls, a shortcut to what version you're looking at, the Bluetooth menu, the car's 3G signal, time, and whether the passenger airbag is on or off. Let's go through those one by one. Let's take a look at the charging menu. The charging menu shows you how many miles are available on the car, gives you a visual representation of that, allows you to choose between standard and max range mode. Standard mode is 85% of the battery's charge. This is good for day-to-day -day life. It's great for long-term battery life to stay away from the extreme levels of the battery. But if you're gonna take a long trip the next day, it's a good idea to charge into max range mode. Max range mode charges the car to 100%, that fills it all the way. It's a little bit bad for the long-term life, but it gives you the full range of the car. And it'll stay in that mode for about three days unless you set it back, and it'll occasionally remind you to switch back to standard. Switching back to standard takes you back to 85% again on your next charge. The charge current is really only to override the charging current downward. The car automatically knows what to charge at, depending on what it's plugged into. The mobile connector, for instance, those adapters I showed you earlier, they'll actually automatically lower the current based on what type of plug they're plugged into. But if you need to lower it for whatever reason, you can just tap this downward a little bit and that'll lower it. You can also open the charge port directly from here with just a quick tap. 